In today's video, we're going to listen to more testimony from Chief Sun, the chief of the Capitol Police on January 6, 2021. Uh, chief Sun has testified previously in this hearing that um, that the Capitol Police received no intelligence that there was going to be violence on January 6, despite the fact that AOC claims that she received um, text messages from other members of Congress a week before January 6, telling her that there was going to be violence. But the chief of Capitol Police doesn't have any intelligence that there's going to be violence. A week before, one week before, the week prior to the insurrection, I started to get text messages that I needed to be careful. And that in particular, I needed to be careful about the six. But then he's called on a piece of intelligence, an internal document from the Capitol Police that was circulated on January 3rd, three days before January 6th. And Senator Peters uh, reminds Chief Sun of this document and asks Chief Sun what he did in response to this document that was circulated through Capitol Police on January 3rd. Take a listen. The Intelligence Division of the Capitol Police issued a re internal report which reportedly stated, uh, and this is, uh, some of this has been out in, in the public domain, uh, that uh, instead of targeting counter-protesters, protesters, as you've seen in the prior events that occurred that you've referenced uh, earlier, uh, that, quote, this is, quote, that it's been out in the public domain, that Congress itself is the target on the 6th by Trump supporters. Congress was the target. The report also mentioned that members of the Proud Boys, white supremacist groups, other extremist groups would be in attendance and, quote, again, out in public sources, may be inclined to become violent. So you, you have your own report. Did you see that report that was put out on the 3rd? Yes, I did. So how is not that a warning of some extraordinary measures? Now, I understand you increased and you had folks uh, there and you increased your presence, but how is not that not a real big warning flag? And if it was, what exactly did you do when you read that report? So that was uh, one of the reports that contributed to the fact that we expanded our perimeter. Uh, I reached out, uh, you know, looking at it, I'd reach out to the Metropolitan uh, Police Department, just knowing, even before that report, knowing, you know, what that... Um, extremists were likely to be there uh, in the previous reports for it that has been called for on social media for people to be armed. In talking with our uh, partners over at the Metropolitan Police Department, I reached out to say, hey, are you going to be able to provide us some support? And we coordinated that additional support the morning of the, uh, of the 6th. So, yeah, we did take all that in consideration as we developed uh, the extensive security plans for this event. So you changed plans on January 3rd after getting that report? We, yeah, we adjust, adjust our perimeter. We did a number of things. So Chief Son repeatedly says that he expanded the perimeter in response to this January 3rd memo telling the Capitol Police that not only is there going to be violent, but Congress is the target. And he says that he expanded the perimeter. But as I've already shown in previous videos, that's a lie. There was no expanded perimeter and there was no secure perimeter. The perimeter was not secured with the 12 foot fence with the razor wire until after the riot. Uh, prior to that, the only perimeter that was set was the, what AOC called the inky dinky little fence, uh, little gate that can easily be moved. And we actually see members of the Capitol Police moving these little gates and allowing Trump supporters to penetrate the perimeter. Uh, for, we actually were adjusting our perimeter probably a, a little bit before that as well. 